A budget means planning the income and expenses for a particular time period. When the budget is related to the property development, then we know this as the construction budget. Without a good construction budget, the project may not be completed within the stated time. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Remy, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA-related challenges. I'm Shahriya Abdul Rafid, and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a construction budget in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. In this case, I'll be considering a residential construction budget. The owner will leave the building after completion and won't rent the property for a long time. Therefore, only expenses will be considered in this construction budget. There are three easy steps to create a construction budget in Excel. Firstly, I have to set up the dataset. Secondly, I'll enter the estimated and actual values. Lastly, I'll create a clustered bar chart to visualize the difference between the forecasted and actual values. There will be four columns consisting of activity, estimated, actual, and difference. Moreover, I'll calculate the total values of the estimated budget and the actual budget. So, I've created a field total which is in the row 24 in the worksheet. You can see I've already inserted the necessary fields of activity. I have considered a broad category for creating the construction budget. These activities include some subcategories, planned review fees, various permits, surveys, impact fees, administrative costs, financial costs, legal fees and engineering fees are example of service fees. Site preparation consists of demolition fee, dust control, site surface protection, garbage removal, portable toilet, temporary energy and equipment rental, soil tests, septic system, Pump system are included in the on-premise water and sewer task. Gas and electrical permits, oil, telecom, water and sewer fees are in the utilities task. Excavation activity consists of blasting, fill, dirt or stone removal, foundation excavation, drainage system, backfill, etc. Then foundation activity includes fires, steel reinforcing, various construction, bulkheads, etc. Next, the elements of pavings are patios, chimneys, driveways, walkways, etc. After that, seals, floor framing, sheathing, nails and screws, labor cost, etc. are included in the rough framing task. Then, exterior sheathing, brick and stone veneer, window and door trim, labor cost, etc. are in the exterior activity. Windows and doors task comprises door slabs, windows, garage door, etc. Next, plumbing consists of drain, gas and water supply piping, faucets, toilets, sinks, tubs, showers, etc. Electrical tasks consist of wiring, lighting fixtures, doorbell system, smoke alarms, security systems, etc. After that, the heat pump, central air conditioner, air filter, boiler, radiators, HVAC controls, etc. are included in the HVAC task. All the remaining types of insulations are in the insulation task. Next, walls, ceilings, decorative plaster, labor, etc. are in the drywall and plaster activity. Door knobs, wood flooring, carpeting, stairs, painting, vinyl flooring, etc. are included in the interior task. Then, kitchen, medicine and bath cabinets, ceramic tiles, mirrors, towel hangers, etc. are in the kitchen and bath activity. Different types of porches and decks are in the porches task. Lastly, the appliances task consists of the refrigerator, microwave oven, dishwasher, washing machine, etc. I'll be typing the values for the estimated column first. The estimated values are not based on any statistical models and you are free to create a basis for the estimation and modify the budget. 1500, 1200, 1, then, after the completion of the construction project, I'll type the actual values. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm assuming the project is completed and it took one year. So, in a similar way, I'll type the values for the actual column. Now, let's convert them into accounting format. So, select these cells. In the Home tab, 
Go to the number group of commands and click on the accounting number format icon. Then decrease the decimals. Now I'll compare the difference by subtracting both values. I'm going to subtract actual values from the estimated values. So select cells in the E5 to E23 range and type the formula equal to C5 minus D5 and press Ctrl plus Enter. It will show all the results at a time. Next, type another formula in cell C24 for calculating the total estimated values. Equal to here, I'll use the sum function. Press tab to insert the highlighted function. As the number one argument, I'll select the C5 to C23 range. Close the parenthesis and press enter. The sum function adds all the number in the range of cells. Now use the fill handle to autofill the formulas to the next cells. In this way, I've got the total estimated, actual and the difference values. Now, I'll show how you can visualize the difference between the estimated and actual values. I'll insert a clustered bar chart to demonstrate that. Most of the time, Excel can suggest the best chart for your data type. And I'll follow the recommended charts feature to create the chart. Without further ado, let's do it. Select cells in the B4 to D23 range. Go to the Insert tab in the Charts group of commands. Select Recommended Charts. The Insert Chart dialog box will open. In the Recommended Charts tab, select Clustered Bar and click OK. And here's the result. Now I'll enlarge the chart. Also, I'll change the chart title. Make it bold. And that's it. From this graph, we can see the biggest discrepancy is on the plumbing task. In this tutorial, I have shown you three quick steps on how to create a construction budget in Excel. Follow them carefully to apply this knowledge in your practical field. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving Exceldemy community forum where you can post your Excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.